Well, this ain't a good sign. Let's start building this engine, guys. We got the pistons out. We got Morgan out here to film us. And uh, let's uh, get the reins set up on these pistons. Probably maybe the bearings in them. And uh, go from there. I don't know how far we get in this video, but we'll get something done, that's for sure. So this is the uh, spacer ring. This goes on the bottom. This one should be pretty easy to get on here. Boom, just like that. And then these are the oil rings. From what I've seen, it's easier to do the top one first. I don't have the uh, thing, the tool to do this with, but we should be able to make something work. You guys are watching me do this for the first ever time. Remember, this is my first time ever doing something like this. I've never done this before. So we're just gonna get that to go in there like that. Slide it around. Push it around, there we go. There's that first one. Now we gotta get the bottom one on. I had to regroup myself. <laughs> I'm already messing up a little bit. There's two of them stuck together here. That'd been bad. The 16 total of these, one for the top, one for the bottom, obviously. There we go. There's both of those. And they aren't, uh, the gaps aren't lined up on them. That should be good enough, I would think. Do they move freely? They move freely around. There we go. Now we got, if you want to show them this, Morgan, we got two bags up here. I'll show them real quick. We got two bags up here. One's for top group, one's for second group. And these are the groups they're talking about. Boom, boom. So that'd be the second group, I think, and that's the first group. So let's go ahead and get those on. These ones might be a little bit harder. I'm gonna go with the uh, the second grab first, just so I don't have to go past it. Oh, it's on top. Oh, yep. And these have on them where they say top, so obviously that faces the top. That makes sense. Now I'm doing this just in case I break some. That way we can order more by time it's time to. Uh, Finish the rest of the engine. That one's in there. Let's go ahead and uh, get the top one. And this one doesn't say top or bottom on it, but it has writing on here. So I think that would go to the top. That's what I'm gonna do. I hope that's correct. I look, I'll look into it more today to make sure. But I think that should be correct. So let's go ahead and uh, put that one on. Try not to scratch up your new piston that much. That one's good to go. And then from a video I've watched on YouTube, some guys spun it like that. Make sure they spin freely and then spun one back. And that should be good to go. So now we gotta get the bearings in it, but I'll probably do that later on after I get all this stuff done and go from there. Stay tuned, let me get seven more of these done and go from there. We got all the reins done, they're looking good. Reins, I say lean weird, don't I? <laughs> but anyway, everything's good, tops on top, tops on top, uh, everything slides good. Now the gaps are lining up. Uh, let's go ahead and do the uh, bearings now. So we just wanna pop these caps off. Keep the cap with the piston. Mine are marked uh, seven and seven, so this is for a number seven cylinder from the machine shop. As you guys can see, how that one's nothing's done inside there. I think he took a little bit of metal out of some of them. It looks like he drilled out a little bit of this to probably balance it out. I don't know if you guys can see that. If you've seen that, something kind of cool. I don't really know much about that. I barely know how to do what I'm doing. <sighs> But we're trying to learn. I want to do other engines one day. Let's go from there. 
I'm gonna take the bolts on the same side too. So that bolt right there came out of the side that's marked. If that makes sense. We're gonna pop these off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of these lint free rags that we bought today from Walmart. Kind of expensive. I'm gonna clean the surface up. Do the same to this. Looks good in there. So I don't think it matters which ones go into uh, the cap or the rod. I don't think it matters. Maybe it does. Let's look here. No, I don't think it does. So I see how this has this little thing on it. Oh, you guys probably already know if you're watching this, but that little thing I'm also gonna clean this too. One of these lint legs. I have assembly lube I'm gonna put in here too after we go to actually put them in the in the block. But see how that tab's in there? Line it up with this tab. Kind of like that. That one's set up. Nothing's hanging off. I think that should be good. And do the same thing to uh, this part of it. Work it into place. Now, pretty much, I'm just going to put them back together for now, and then once we get to put them under the block, we'll put some assembly lube in there. Uh, I'll do all eight of them. Go from there. We probably should uh, get that block on the engine stand, and then we'll probably call it a night tonight. Get back at this another day. There we go. So I'll get a little bit of help getting that thing off the table. Uh, Got the piston rings, the bearings on the pistons set up. You guys seen that? Uh, we'll probably wind up going ahead unwrapping it here soon and uh, painting that and going going from there. So stay tuned. Let's get this thing built and let's get it screaming down the road. Let's go ahead and get this crank and uh, pistons in this block. So let's take all these main caps off real quick, set them in order on the bench, uh, start getting bearings in them. We got to get them cleaned up too, wipe them down at least once. I'm going to put the bolts back in there like that. That way we know we're not swapping them, swapping them around. Everything's looking good on this engine. What do you think? What, what, how do you think it looks, Morgan? What? Looks brand new. Higher because it is. <laughs> well, not technically. It's kind of crazy. But it looks brand new. I got some lint free uh, rags here, like we used before. Let's go ahead and just wipe this thing out real good. Get all the oil out of it. Do you think I should hit that with weight cleaner? No. Let's try to get it clean with this. I'll probably blow it with the air compressor too. Get any junk out of there. So after I get this done, be right back and we'll start putting some bearings in. Let's go ahead and get the main ba main bearing cap set up. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. Can you tell Morgan? We're getting there though. Force engine. Gotta start somewhere. So that's how I'm gonna pretty much do it. And then I'm gonna take some assembly lube, which is down here. I just show you guys on the first one. You guys don't gotta watch me do them all. But take some of this. Let me find some cutters.
this stuff's kind of expensive, like eleven dollars a bottle, eleven bucks. Is that right, Morgan? Eleven bucks a bottle. I'm gonna put some in there. Probably way too much. I'm just trying to show them what I'm gonna do. So there we go. Let's get the rest of them in there and uh, drop the crank in this thing. Let's go ahead and do this side of the uh, rear main seal. We got all those uh, caps in the block, and I also did the uh, the main caps. So I'm gonna leave that hanging out a little bit. On this should be good enough. Uh, I also already put it into the main caps too, about uh, half of it. Let's try to get this uh, crank out of this box. I don't know where my laser blade went. I just stand it up for a second and uh, blow it off and wipe it down real quick. Looking good though. Let me wipe this down real fast and uh, we're going to wind up setting it in that block. Let's go ahead and pick it up. to get it in here not too bad there we go so the crank's in see make sure it goes good seems decent so let's start uh, setting the main caps back on that thing's not that light Or dodge, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they recommend putting oil on the tips of the bolts, so that's what I'm doing. I got some oil in this can, just putting them on the tips of the bolt, making a mess on the floor, pretty much is what I'm doing, just like that. And then I'm gonna slide those in just like that. I'll get all this done, and then we'll start torquing it down. I'm struggling a little bit here. I'm pretty sure this moves. Uh, smoothly enough I I would think I've never felt one after being rebuilt but hopefully it's moving smoothly enough uh, let's finish torquing it down I'm gonna start with 20 foot pounds and then we're gonna go all the way to 85 or 90 I haven't made up my mind yet but I marked each one like that one's one that one's four so I can just uh, don't have to keep looking at a piece of paper we got this set the 20 that's what I'm gonna start with uh, this is the number one so let's go ahead and torque that down to uh, 20 See where that gets us. That's easy. Where's the uh, number two? Number two is right next to it, I guess. This is number three. This is number four. Five. Oh, that's not five. Good thing we didn't get that. This is five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's just do the same thing and uh, go up to. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do eighty-five. I'm going to call in the big guns. Uh, Morgan, could you hold this engine for me? Let's get it all the way to uh, 85 foot pounds. Go from there. There we go. Alright, now I'll just do the rest of them and then we can start uh, setting up for pistons. Let's go.
go ahead and make sure this thing still spins smoothly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's real smooth. Okay, that makes me feel better. It may actually run. We're gonna find out, right? Hopefully we can at least get a minute out of it. That'd be nice. One minute, Morgan. <laughs> that's spinning pretty smoothly. I can spin it like that. Okay, uh, let me talk it over with Morgan, see if we want to set the pistons in today or tomorrow. Let's start uh, plugging holes with pistons. We already did one, but let's do one together. Why not? This is the number two uh, piston right here from the machine shop where the guy marked them. So I'm hoping he marked it like number two cylinders, number two cylinder. I'm hoping. <laughs> but let's go ahead and take this uh, cap off, get it cleaned out, get some assembly lube on it. Get it pushed down in there. I haven't took that one down that I've already put in there. We'll put them down together too. So. All I'm gonna do is just clean the stuff out with uh, one of these lip flea things again. Do you think the engine's gonna run? Yeah, it'll run. Hopefully, we get more than a minute out of it. We better get more than a minute out of it. Hopefully we can get like, I don't know, 50,000 miles out of it or more. Put some of that assembly lube on it, and I'm just gonna take my finger and make a mess with it, pretty much. Wipe it on my pants. Set that down there. Clean this out again. Make sure there's a bearing in there. And then, uh, same thing. Now that that's set up, let's go ahead. This one has engine oil on it. I'm actually gonna, uh, Put a little bit in the cylinder. I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not. I think you are. Don't don't quote me. Okay, this is my first engine, and we're just making shit work. <laughs> but I figure it'd be better than having it not moved up, right? Yeah, Playing steel against steel. And then I've seen a lot of people use tranny fluid for this part, but I'm gonna uh, put a little bit on the skirt of the piston. Oh, that's oil. That's not, that's not a big deal though. <laughs> tranny fluid. This one's tranny fluid. Grab my wing compressor. Make sure these are 180 degrees from each other. Those are... Uh, it splits. Yeah. I'm messing up somehow. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. There we go. Now, if you look at this paper, it's gonna be hard for you guys to see, but it shows you how the pistons go. So that's what we're going off of. So this one's gonna go like this. The uh, this would be the uh, the big one would be the uh, intake valve because the intake valve is always bigger than the exhaust valve. Gonna set that like that and then take this little guy.
Make sure it's like flush and everything. There we go. Tighten that up a little bit. Get yourself either a uh, something rubber pretty much. That's hard not to push it in. They make a hammer for this, but I just don't got one. So using this. There we go. Another piston installed. Let's go ahead and push it down to the crank and then we can flip the engine over and actually uh, start getting this stuff put down. It's that thing rattling. But as you guys can see, now they both set up here. Doesn't look bad, does it? No. <clears throat> Let me get the caps on and then we'll start torquing them down. Let's get this bad boy torqued down to uh, 54 foot pounds for the first torque and then we're gonna take it up to 65 foot pounds for the second. Uh, that's what, uh, that's what uh, Scat recommended. I actually called them and asked them. So they didn't send me directions on like what to torque them down to actually. But we, we got it figured out. Good to go on that one. Good to go on that one. Let's do this one now. Go back and forth on that a little bit. I thought these were already tight, but I guess not. Okay, let's get this one to 55. There we go. There we go. All right, now we go up to uh, 65 and just repeat the process. And then uh, we'll rotate it and make sure they still the same, just for a piece of mind. 65. 65. And I don't know if you know, but 65. Okay, let's actually rotate this thing, make sure it's moving free, freely still. Oh, I don't got the correct tool to do this, so I got a bolt in there, a crank bolt, but it's working. That kind of hard, do you think? Uh, not really, no. Check them again, and then I'm gonna do all eight cylinders, and we'll be back. So we got it pretty much assembled. The uh, pistons are in there, but it locked up for some reason when we put the last two in. But we're thinking it's these two. Uh, this would be like six and four, I think, or six and five. Six and, six and five are messed up. But we don't understand why. I'm talking to a machine shop and we've checked over it. Everything seems to be correct. He said to check the bearings to see if they had uh, upper and lower on them, but they do not. They don't say that. So I don't know. And the chafers, the big chafer ends, supposed to go towards the crank, which that's how it is. Uh, so we don't really know why it's doing this. It might have to go to that guy. So just bear with us. Stay and, uh, tuned. Look out, we'll be rewiring that here soon. So we'll still be working on this. Just gotta get this uh, engine fixed or whatever. Can't really uh, just throw it together and blow it up. We got a lot of money into this. I think I figured out why this thing locked up. I wanted to get, tell you guys before we end this video and uh, explain what we're gonna be doing next. So if you spin both of these like this on the rod journal, spin nice and freely. Maybe a little bit of, grabs a little bit. But if you go like that, you can feel it like 
either grinding against the actual crank, the uh, whatever these things are called, I forgot, or the other rod uh, cap on there. So I think this is way too tight together. There's no no wiggle room in between there. I think that's why it keeps locking up once we get all these cylinders on. Hope that's why I'll be taking this to a different machine shop, but they bought six months out. So that kind of sucks. Another problem I found is if you look at this uh, cam bearing, it's in there kind of crooked. It's flush right here, but there's almost a lip right here. It's kind of scarred up and there's a hole Maybe not in this one, but in the ones in the middle, it's gonna be hard for you guys to see, but just take my word for it. I'll show you on this one. There's a hole like right here where oil should come through it. They'll lube up the cam, I'm pretty sure. Well, it's covered up halfway with this, so they not put in there correctly. And those ones are kind of scratched up and also crooked. So I'm gonna actually take that into the uh, machine shop, have them fix that, figure out why it's not spinning. I've got to call SCAT, see if it's a problem on their end, if they sent me the wrong crank or the wrong rods for that crank. Something's wrong. I don't think I messed it up. I had like three four people look at it. Everyone's scratching their heads They don't understand why so let's see what we can get figured out with that being Taken that long. Uh, we started trying to rewire the truck. We were going to use that painless harness on it Decided not to this is the plan with the truck We're going to use the wires that the truck already has on it the factory ones and What we're going to do is rewire all the lights. We're going to get all the lights working We can figure all that out without the engine in it this is the harness that goes to the rear tail lights. That's right here. So we're actually gonna reuse that. A lot of the wires are still good and just clean it up and relume it. Max is in here going crazy. So after we get all the lights working, I'm just gonna clean this up, store this away until we get the engine back. And once we get the engine back, uh, me and my buddy's gonna sit in the truck actually, work on the interior, put in the, uh, the uh, gauge cluster, see what's not working, what's working and uh, start solving problems like if the gas gauge ain't working we're gonna track those wires down we do them ourselves get it working go from there go to the next one and then we'll go to the heat control and then we go to any lights i want working inside the truck and then i'll go to uh adding in a radio and all the speakers making sure all that's working the memory on the radio works the power shuts off when you turn the key off all that good stuff that's the plan with this we'll set the engine in it do the same thing to the engine go through all those wires Hook everything up one by one, pretty much making sure everything works. Uh, he came up with that idea, so did I. I think that's going to work best. And we should have a, a pretty well running truck after this engine's back. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Give me a like, comment, subscribe. I'm working on getting another project going. Hopefully you guys enjoy whatever I decide to do. Uh, have any suggestions, leave it in the comments below. See you guys for the next one.